Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast. We've got some very nice weather out there for now, but as we go into the next couple of days, some changes coming our direction, some showers possible as we head into and around Sunday morning into the afternoon, and then afternoon into evening could be looking at the potential of maybe some more thunderstorms heading our direction, so we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you've never joined us before here, welcome to our weather blog keeping you updated as to what's going on podcasting style and giving you an idea as to what's happening in the near future. If you got any questions about the forecast for West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis and Shelby County right there in the middle, all you have to do is just drop the questions into our comments section. If you'd like to see the forecast, look at the blue bar down there in the bottom portion of your screen. That's the forecast scrolling on by there. Or go to this website at wreg.com slash weather and you can pick up more about the forecast including the 7 to 10 day forecast and a whole bunch of other weather information as well on stuff like that so stay tuned for more there. Coming up we'll talk severe weather. There is a tiny chance as we go into the next couple of days west of us not necessarily here. We'll also talk about your severe weather safety and how you can get ready for things. The severe weather spotter training seminar free is coming up next week Tuesday for Memphis and Shelby County. We'll show you more about what the National Weather Service is up to, so stick around for more on that. Otherwise, a great start to Friday. No problems being seen out there with plenty of sunshine. Our air is coming in from right off the desert southwest and the Rocky Mountains and the Great Plains state, so rung dry of anything involving any moisture. So hardly anything in the way of clouds even to speak of to say nothing about rain, thunderstorms, or snow all of which we can get at this time of the year. So not looking that bad for right now. By the time you pick the kids up from school, get ready to head home from dinner and ready to head out on the town tonight. Very much on the mild side, but if you're going to be out pretty late, definitely want to take along something to ward off that chill as we're looking for some pretty chilly conditions out there. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them so we can show them on here. If you've got weather reports from around the area, drop those into the comments section as well. Uh, city state location will do nicely and of course uh, time temperature whatever you've got out there wind speed rain gauge amounts visibility let's do some amateur meteorology and see what's going on out there so drop those into the comments section and we'll read off as many as we possibly can and thanks to everybody for joining us so far in old miss territory northern mississippi a few more clouds drifting on through and a few joggers and strollers out from time to time at the track and field facility on the Ole Miss campus. Germantown, the water tower is just north of the high school, looking off toward the towers of East Memphis, and decently cool out there. We've got numbers back in the lower 40s with calm winds. Little hazy, little foggy, not doing too bad out there for this morning, so not seeing a lot of problems for right now. From our cotton exchange camera, we were watching moonset not too long ago, but disappeared behind some of those high, thin clouds out there, and so far good visibility across much of the Mid-South. Likewise, our Baptist DeSoto camera showing traffic at the peak of rush hour moving along quite nicely. Corey Ventura will have uh, traffic updates for you coming up here on our station and, of course, online. Follow her on Twitter, and she'll keep you updated on that. From Earth orbit, a spacewalk going on right now. Two astronauts out on the structure work of the International Space Station, replacing older batteries with newer versions that are going to keep a charger longer and help the astronauts stay safer. That's going on right now. This view from NASA TV from Earth Orbit, keeping track of the spacewalk, which started just about an hour ago, mid-south time in central daylight time, and it'll be going on for several more hours. So if you'd like to see more about that, again, go to NASA TV or keep up to date with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day, and we'll keep you advised as to what's going on there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, little if anything showing up for right now. Good morning to everybody showing up for right now and tuning in for just a little bit. My in Tennessee, Betty Coleman Lucky. A little bit of frost last night. Okay, cool. There were some places out there picking up some frost into the area. Uh, Dan Danker sending some more north to Michigan. We'll see what we can do uh, heading that up the Mississippi River because it is going to be decently mild here for the next few days. So hopefully that'll reach you up in portions of Michigan in that area. Storm Tracker 3S radar again. Clean sweeps across the entire area. No problems being seen out there right now. Let me take the astronauts out of the picture real quick and get back to some weather information, which again is decently chilly. We're back in the lower to mid 30s to the lower 40s. 
A little bit of frost across the Mid-South, not as much as we have seen out there for quite some time. Running the numbers into the rest of the day, temperatures by lunchtime, gorgeous. No problems being seen as that westerly winds come in and keep us very dry. So lower 60s by lunchtime. Normal for this time of the year, roughly about 70 degrees, somewhere in there. So we're going to be looking at some milder temperatures out there for today in the mid to upper 60s. Uh, Melanie Hart, 37 in Casey, Mississippi. Light frost, light fog, and some sunshine. Thank you very much for that one. Sun is out in Paris, Tennessee. Tommy Dono Williams, thank you very much. Uh, for checking in from there and everybody else who's saying hello from the rest of the Mid-South. Getting ready for dinner later on tonight. Again, we're going to be seeing the temperatures quite mild when you head out the door for dinner and a movie, but make certain you've got something to ward off that chill because by about midnight, upper 40s to lower 50s, and by about News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow, mid to upper 30s, not seeing anything in the way of cloud cover just yet, but noticing again some clouds starting to work their way into central Arkansas. Now, again, this is the prime season for this area of the country, the Mid-South, East Arkansas, North Mississippi, and West Tennessee. Now is our best time for severe weather. So this is the time to get ready for stuff that may happen, but is not imminent. So for right now, now's the time to figure out what to do, where to go, what may happen when it comes to severe weather. Now in the Mid-South for today, nothing going on. Everything's quiet here. Back to around portions of the northern Texas panhandle, the panhandle of Oklahoma and southern Kansas. Severe weather possible here in a slight risk category. As we go into tomorrow, threat does not look too severe anytime soon. Just generic thunderstorms well to the west of Little Rock. Now as we go into Sunday, that's where it gets more interesting because again, we may see some thunderstorms here, just thunderstorms, but back to the west of us around Little Rock, Fort Smith, Tulsa, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex just north of there, Springfield into that area of the Arklatex, we may see the possibility of a marginal threat, fairly low threat of severe weather. Now, again, that does not include the Mid-South, so why are we telling you about this? Because we are the station that is on your side, so we want you to be aware of this in case something changes. And we'll keep you updated throughout today and, of course, throughout the rest of the weekend. So stay tuned again for more information on that. Welcome to everybody checking in this morning. Thanks for stopping on by. Temperatures running the numbers through the rest of the weekend, mid to upper 60s. Plenty of sunshine today. Outdoor plans this weekend. Saturday is going to be much better than Sunday as we see those chances of showers develop early and continue into thunderstorms. Right now, it does not look like a flash flooding situation. But once again, definitely want to stay tuned on stuff like that to make sure that you're informed and safe. We'll help you do that. First weekend of spring looks pretty good, just below normal on temperatures. And again, Saturday outdoor activities, Sunday maybe an indoor type of day. Chances of showers and thunderstorms remain in the forecast through about Monday. The first full week of spring will drop the temperatures a little bit around Tuesday. Again, that's not much, but we'll be back in the mid-50s and cooling off and a little drier. Now, as we go toward the end of the week, that's where we see the warmer conditions return to the area, very close to normal for this time of the year, back in the lower 70s. And Thursday, late evening, that's where we see, again, the possibility of some more showers taking place. It, again, does not look like a huge amount of problems, but if you have outdoor plans from, say, midnight Friday morning through next weekend, maybe the possibility of some interruptions going on there. So please keep that in mind if you're heading out pretty soon on that one. March is National Weather Podcast Month. I had no idea such a thing existed until about half a month ago. So nice to see that out there. And if you'd like to download our latest podcast effort called Tornado Alert Emotional Terror, it's your opportunity to learn more about weather from our point of view when severe weather hits what we do, what we're feeling, making certain that our families stay safe while we're talking to all of you out there. If you'd like to see more about this, WREG.com, iTunes, and Spotify, and you can find out more, again, by searching Nat National Weather Podcast Month. Lots of great opportunities and some incredible weathercasts out there to take a look at. So if you have the opportunity to see what other weather people are thinking, there's no shortage of that out there, so give it a try as you head out the door. And, of course, we'll post most of that stuff on our social media channels as well, so stay tuned for that. Two meetings, that's it for this season's semester's training for Skywarn Spotters. If you've never been a Skywarn Spotter before, now's your opportunity, especially if you live in Memphis and Shelby County. We'll get more of these meetings coming up 
in the fall semester. That's storm season number two. We're in storm season number one right now, and this is the big one. So this is the time to really get prepared for stuff out there. The next meeting for Shelby County will be coming up this Tuesday, 7 p.m. at Lord of Life Lutheran Church on Poplar Pike near between Memphis and Germantown in and around East Memphis. Again, this is going to be a good opportunity to ask questions of meteorologists of the National Weather Service, review safety from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, know what it's like to look for storms, look at what it means on radar, safety procedures, good opportunity for kids. I've seen kids as young as, say, eight or nine years old become skywarn storm spotters. So this is a good opportunity to give kids a little bit of control over what feels like to be kind of an uncontrollable situation. So if you'd like to know more about this, weather.gov, click on the Mid-South on the giant map, or go to weather.gov slash MEG. That's the three-letter designator for the National Weather Service in Memphis. Again, more meetings coming up as we go toward the fall semester, but we'll talk more about that a little later. Next 24 hours, again, very mild today. Temperatures back in the mid-60s, still just a smidge below normal for this time of the year. And then back into the lower 40s for low temperatures as we head into very early tomorrow morning. I'll have your forecast through the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, I'll be back on with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning. And, of course, that should read... Uh, about 10.45 this morning. Remember, the NCAA tournament will be covering over the noon show. You can catch us on any time. We'll try to be on at about 11 o'clock this morning with our late edition of our weathercast online on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter. So stay tuned for more there if you just can't get enough e-weather with Memphis and in and around the Mid-South. We'll also take a look at whether where the troops are. Again, sad news this morning that two more American service personnel were killed over in Afghanistan. Temperatures around sunset in the 50s around Herat, 71 with thunderstorms around Kandahar, and 50s around the rest of southeastern Afghanistan. This is our little salute to everybody out there wearing the uniform. We'll take a look at multiple locations in the, around the country, and you can find out more about that by tuning into our podcast coming up later on this morning at about 11 a.m., so stick around again for more there. Good morning to everybody for checking in. Thanks a lot for dropping on by. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. And of course, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend as we keep you advised on that. My social media down in the red bar scrolling by at the bottom of your screen on all these social media websites. And, of course, at wreg.com slash weather for more information on that. Tim will have your forecast tonight. And, again, NCAA tournament will be causing some interruptions and some coverage of our newscast. So check in on any time or at wreg.com slash weather for more updates on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday and right on through the weekend.